What's up, y'all? This is Erica, honey. We are down here. I'm trying to see. I'm not, am I going to make this arrow? Let me make this arrow. Oh, I made it. Oh, my God. What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. We are down here, girl. Go, 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 girl, girl. We are down here. We don't have nothing to talk about. Come on, old dog. Oh, yellow looking dog. He parked in my parking space. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to ram up behind him. I'm that girl. These motherfuckers ain't stopping me. Please, motherfuckers ain't stopping me. We are down here, girl, and we are down here to see what's going on down to the blogs. When I tell you, I sponsored the. Now I sponsored the blog. Let me tell you something. Yesterday, I'm trying to park right. Yesterday, I was so annoyed by seeing Halle Berry, Halle Berry, Halle Bailey, Little Mermaid, pregnant. Oh my God. When I tell you, I felt like I was watching like my little cousin, like, girl, what the fuck are you doing? Girl, I don't know. Girl, that pregnancy would have been terminated. I don't give a f the fact that she was having unprotected sex with a person who said he's so insecure, he would try to ruin her career. And you want to duplicate this nigga? When I tell you, I was so peeved yesterday. And then Mandy, full court pumps. Shout out to her. But girl, she was like, um, why y'all calling DDG a bum, dummy, dummy, goofy? Why you calling dummy, dummy, goofy? Uh, hey. Hey, hey, why they let me outside? Motherfuckers ain't stopping me. This is a reminder. Oh, it's on. Is it on? Why is it on? Mm -mm. It's, it needs to be on. Um. It needs to be on um um play through because I wanted to play through. Girl, I was like I said, I was so annoyed. I was just so annoyed. And then I was so annoyed with these ah, girl. You can't talk to these men. Why y'all calling him a bum? What? He has money. Girl, what the fuck? Do you know bums have money too? These bum ass niggas have money. Y'all think money doesn't negate these weird ass niggas degenerate ass behavior? Boosie is online right now. And somebody is actually interviewing him. The fact that people interview him is wild as hell. Because the man has the most problematic ideologies. He all had his sons and nephews assaulted by a grown woman when they were 14 and 15 years old. And then now he's now on the internet saying, you got to push pussy on these boys. Can you believe it? No, yes, you can believe it. Hold on. I'm going I'm to let you hear Boosie say what he has to say. I'm going to let you hear it because I saved it. But first, I want to let you hear what this woman has to say about Haley Bailey. Because a lot, because I compared her to Krishan and the girls were in a tizzy, honey. I apparently shook the table when I compared her to Krishan, who's down there saying she needs to be, she needs to perform as a butch or a, what'd she say? Stud because she doesn't want her son to be feminine. Y'all hate the feminine so much. You don't even realize that this fucking shit has you so programmed that you hate the woman so much that you're afraid of your sons being feminine. You know, if you're too good of a mother, they start doing hand gestures like you. Girl, what? I said, Haley Bailey, Krishan, they ain't no different. Why they not? They ain't no different because they're two women who chose to have babies by niggas who disrespect them. One, two, are insecure. Three, are jealous of them. Girl, what? So you decide to lay down and let him ejaculate in you and then reproduce his DNA. Only to be come a solo parent. 
If you don't think DDG is jealous of Haley Bailey now, wait until the fucking baby shows up. Because statistics and studies show that men become increasingly unbearable and detached when a baby arrives. Why? Because they're no longer the center of your fucking patriarchal programming pussy ass brain. Listen to this woman first. I want you to listen to this woman and what she says about Haley Bailey. We were and you will never change my mind. We were screaming about how representation matters for little black girls with Halle Bailey being the Little Mermaid. And now we're having this disconnect, this cognitive dissonance, and, and, and we're pretending like we don't understand her being pregnant by a man that publicly disrespected her, publicly making a song that attacks her, blaming her for his insecurities, threatening to destroy her career is a problem for little black girls. They are. This is also a representation for little black girls to see how to be disrespected by a man and still have unprotected sex with him and have his baby and throw away your career at Disney or whatever you're doing for a man and then instead I got black women that want to attack me because I'm saying have some self esteem if a man shows you that he's abusing you walk away from him but y'all are so concerned with yourselves that you have these children for you they are human beings and they deserve to be treated like that okay Period. 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 Her name is China Fox. I followed her after that because that's how I feel. I really felt like I was watching my cousin, my little cousin, just to keep making a, mis a mistake. Like, I hope somebody is in her life to shake her shoulders. I hope she has a strong support system because it's not within him. That nigga doesn't even speak in his regular voice. He's a fraud. And you have... Y'all are villainizing Chloe for in her sovereignty, showing her body, being proud of her ass and titties and thighs and everything. She's the whore. But then you have her sister who looks like the innocent little angel with the little mole. Doesn't she have a little mole on her face? Having sex with a de degenerate. He fucking degenerate. <laughs> fucking Oh, girl, when I tell you that shit pissed me off yesterday, I really, I really felt like it's like y'all want this cultural pathology. What in you had your self-esteem so low that that's like, like I said, somebody on, online said it. She was probably already pregnant when that song came out. Because have you seen her? She looked like she's about five five months. She looked like she's about five months pregnant. She's going to get bigger. And for them to come out and deny it. Yeah, you denied it because you probably weren't happy with the circumstances and how you got to where you got to. Because, bitch, I would have told somebody to push my fucking ass down a flight of fucking stairs, bitch. Like I said yesterday, on three, push me down the stairs, but push me on one. Let me let you hear what Boosie has to say on the other side of it. And then you have all these black men. Y'all better be, be, you better, better be aware. All of these black men who are saying Trump 2024 and the ideas that Trump stands for and all these black men are talking about Trump 2024. Waka Flocka. Shake your dreads to the polls. Waka Flocka endorses Donald Trump for president. This is a, this is a self-proclaimed indigenous person wanting Donald Trump to be the president. Trump 2024 is what he posted. Can you believe it? Yes, I can. Y'all better keep an eye on these motherfucking niggas because they're aligning with conservatives and you know what they want to conserve, don't you? They want to conserve your oppression. They want to make sure that we continue to oppress this group of people because this system doesn't work without your participation. The system doesn't function without your black ass participation. Let's listen to Boosie. Listen to him. Hands on. We got to be more hands on. With, as a father, we got to be more hands on. We got to be more hands on with raising our kids and letting them know what's right. By the time they're 16, you got to be pushing people. 
You got to be pushing, pushing. When they 15, you got to start sending them to the movies with the girl. Because, you know, if they don't get blinded by what they see in, on TV and, and things like that. As dads, we got to be a part of that. Because if we let them just watch what everybody sees, they will stray that way. You heard him, right? Start pushing pussy on your sons at 15. Yep. Yep. Send them to the movies with the girl. Start pushing it on them. Because that's more important. These are the men that these boys find in community. And they get this advice. And when your son, your innocent little son, goes out into the community and tries to find community of other boys. And those boys have been raised by men like this. What, you, what kind of information do you think he's going to get? You got to counter that information. Let's read some of the comments on this Boosie post. Bondi says it's giving assault. I said, keep the fathers in the home, they say. These communities of black men and women promoting this shit is crazy. Let kids be kids. Why do y'all want to wage assault on children? Y'all be in the comments saying kids are off limits. Seems like these people want to ruin children just for them to grow up as damaged adults in therapy because their father let a stripper rape them. These dogs need to be put down. That's exactly what I said. And I mean it. I mean it. Shout out to Sakina. That's very weird and creepy for a man or any parent to say. He's too consumed with the thought of his child being gay for me. It's really starting to feel like a projection. Yes, it is. They're so worried about their children being gay or feminine. Because gay, it's not just, when people are homophobic, if you listen to them, it's not just homophobia. I would say it's femphobia or anti-feminine, right? That is what they're trying to keep. They want you to reside in hyper-masculinity so you can wreak havoc on your community and become degenerates of society. And then blame the mother for the son's behavior. Blame her. Blame the single mother for these degenerate niggas who find community with each other and teach each other degenerate, disgusting, reprobate shit. Somebody said, protect children from all parent, for all predators, foreign and domestic. A lot of black men do this to their son and sad. I tell you, I give you guys homework every about three or four months. Go ask 10 men if you know 10 men. If you're unfortunate enough to have 10 niggas around you, Ask 10 of them what their first sexual experience from. And I'll tell you, they look at sexual assault as a rite of passage and they don't see nothing wrong with it. So when these men have been assaulted by older women, what do you think? How do you think they're going to show up when it comes to relationships, sexual, intimate relationships with you? How do you think they're going to show up when they've been raped as their first experience? And don't see anything wrong with it. A lot of these niggas think being by an older woman is a rite of passage. They truly believe that. They, they don't have any problem with older women taking advantage of little boys. Young teenage boys. They don't. They see it as a rite of passage. That's their fucking disgusting mentality. Having sex early and making them have sex with multiple girls to prove their manhood is disgusting. I tell my sons, have respect for their bodies. Do not share the same shit you be telling your daughters. You need to tell your sons. Have, have respect for your body. Don't share your body with everyone. Everyone is not worthy to come in sexual contact with you. They're not. You are going, I tell my sons, you are going to hear men tell you the more girls you have sex with, the more of a man you are. No, it makes you a damn whore. You have no respect for your, your bodies. So you just, you just e ejaculate into anybody. And then you don't want to, then you, then you don't want to take care of the children. You don't want to get vasectomies because that's another thing that is tied to your manhood because you do want to be able to make babies because like the girl said, your existence is all about survival. And that's why you reside in your lower chakras. I say it all the time. Y'all reside in the, uh, the blocked lower chakra. You're blocked. And that's why the only thing that matters is fucking and survival. And fighting. 
This is why these boys become adults. They don't know how to communicate or express their feelings, lack empathy and compassion because they don't know anything about a relationship or how to be a real respectful man because all they know is sex. All they know is sex. That's all they know. That's all they want to talk about. Even these, even these weird ass niggas be out here on cooking channels and everything, everything that has to, they, they, they treating food like it's a, a woman and they looking at food and rubbing food. It's all sex. They don't even have a shirt on. You're a chef. Put a goddamn shirt on in the fucking kitchen. You dummy. Why would you want to expose your son to sexual activities to prove something? Let them be kids. Exactly. Young boys need to be protected in the same way as our girls. Stop prematurely exposing them to sexual activity that they may not be interested in or ready for. They will know when it's safe and right for them when the time comes. Why are you pushing pussy on your sons? What is wrong with you? Somebody says, I, I'm with you, Boosie. It's an image of a woman. Girl, you're disgusting, you pig. Teach the boys to finish school. Get good paying jobs. Be upstanding. Have respect. Honor something higher than themselves. Ground them. Take them to sound baths. All the shit you think is feminine is what needs to be in, in order to balance what, that, what society culture and their peers are going to teach them that feminine is going to balance that shit out otherwise it's going to be like this and when you reject the feminine you have imbalanced men and women you heard Krishan? listen to this shit listen to this you want to hear some more degenerate black community shit let me let you listen to this dumbass bitch fucking idiot i hope cps really comes and checks on um that baby i really do hold on let me find it stupid ass and that's i, I said y'all don't think this girl's on the spectrum i be saying blue face and krishana on the spectrum y'all think i'm fucking playing i'm not playing company with degenerate pathological cultural pathological behavior don't tell me solo mothers are not a cultural thing with black people in america that's why i said hallie bailey and krishan ain't no different i said to diva the other day hallie Berry is just a missing tooth and a tattoo away from being just like krishan Oh, the men don't define them. No, they don't define them. But they both made decisions. And you've seen women play the game. You've sat there on the sidelines and watched women play a game. And watch the results of the game. And yet and still, you take the same path and the same missteps. What do you think your result is going to... You think you're going to have a different result? You think you're going to have a different result? Have you seen the results? This nigga got mad because I said sperm is manure. Y'all think, do you, you think humanity started with a man? Here, let me read you the great cosmic mother. Yeah, he had to stretch until his erection went down. He got out of the car with, an, with a damn erection, girl. This is the first chapter of the great cosmic mother. The first sex. In the beginning, we were all created female. In the beginning was a very female C, S-E-A. For two and a half billion years on Earth, all life forms floated in a womb-like environment of a planetary ocean, nourished and protected by its fluid chemicals rocked by the lunar tidal, T-I-D-A-L, rhythms. You know the moon changes the waves, right? You know that. Charles Darwin believed the menstrual cycle originated here, organically echoing the moon pulse of the sea. And, the, and because this longest period of life's time on Earth was dominated by marine forms reproducing parthenogenically, he concluded that the female principle was primordial. We were first. If you're a fucking idiot, you think that a, a, the woman came from a man? That don't even support nothing. That's a goddamn, what you guys are reading out of that fucking book, it's a god, it's Aesop's fables. 
fables. In the beginning, life did not just state within the body of any creature, but within the ocean womb containing all organic life. There was no specialized sex organs, rather a generalized female existence reproduced itself with the female body of the sea. And you running around here saying that women came from men when that's it's impossible. Let me let you listen to what um, Krishan was saying. Hold on. Y'all got mad at me. This is not the right take to say that Krishan is the same as Haley Bailey. Why? Why? They both they both procreated with a fuck nigga who's jealous of them and insecure. What's the difference? Huh? Oh, because she's so cute and innocent and has this angelic voice and laid with a fucking devil. Let me let you listen to Krishan's stupid ass. Hold on. Hold on. I said, I really think having a baby by a fuck nigga is a rite of passage. No matter how many women you see go through it, you just have to find out and experience it for yourself. We can't save everybody. We can't save everybody. I'm trying to find um, Krishan. Lucky I can't find this shit. Stupid ass bitch talking about, I don't want my son. I got, I got to walk around like a stud because I don't want my son to gain any feminine qualities. Bitch, you better hope your son gains some feminine qualities to, ba- to balance out the hyper masculinity he's going to be met with in the world. And like Kim Foster said, Haley, Haley will be fine, but I don't think men gr- magically grow out of the desire to publicly embarrass you. She'll be a single, a solo parent. And there's nothing wrong with being a solo parent. It's nothing wrong. But understand that that is the course. That is what is going to happen. Girl, we've been seen it a thousand times. She's not the first. She won't be the last. You can't save all of them. But the fact that The cultural pathology of women laying with niggas who don't respect them is crazy. And then to say, he's not a bum because he has money. What the fuck? And then to say, Mandy, most people are insecure, whether it be looks, finances, or role. Nobody is perfect and y'all have these expectations is why y'all stay let down and living in Delulu. Girl, what? Not having, having expectations has women living in delusion? No, it's the ones who don't have expectations. You should be expected to be treated with respect. It should be expected for the man you're laying with to have some kind of care for you to the point where he doesn't want to ruin your career. What kind of shit is that? Let me find, girl, you're lucky I cannot find Krishan. Oh, here she go. Here she go. Here she go. Listen to her stupid ass. I'm on my bike shit era, like, because I got to be the poppy and the mommy. So, and raise the boy. So that feminine shit ain't finna slide, because he, he's not going to be around with his dad or anything. So, I have to, like, Everybody be like, why are you dressed like that? Get cute. I'm going to get cute. But I'm going to be cute like this. You feel me? Because I got to play both roles, my nigga. And um, I, I don't want to alter anything with my son because I'm being a good mother. Like, you know, Listen. like saying, like, uh, I feel like certain moms get in the way of being too much of a good mom that too their much son started. Developing hand movements and stuff. So I like okay, he's too young to learn what my nail is doing, but when he get like one, I'm gonna back the short, I'm gonna back the stud. I swear to god. I'm on my dyke shit era, like because she said I'm on I'm on my dyke shit era. No offense. I'm just repeating what she says. That's what she's saying. She's gonna be in her stud era when her son gets about one. He's not, he doesn't know what my nails are doing now. Can you imagine being raised by a woman who wants to deny your feminine, who wants to deny all the parts of you that are feminine to balance you out? 
Can you imagine? I hope CPS is on her fucking ass. I do. It's too many people watching her for CPS not to be on her ass. She said something else. Oh, here she go. I gotta get the poppy and the money. So, I feel like certain moms get in the way of being too much of a good mom that their sons start developing hand movements and stuff. Lemonade. I feel like certain moms get in the way of being too much. And they had to put put Jada Wada's um, son in there because they talk about him being too feminine. Children absorb what they see. They absorb what they see. And I would rather my child have feminine hand movements to, than to be like Blueface. And all every single day of the week. Stupid ass. Her and Halle ba Bailey, two stupid asses. And I'm saying it. Two stupid asses. And if I was Haley ba if I was in proximity to Haley Bailey, a family member of hers, I would shake her shoulders and say, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you sure you don't want to terminate this pregnancy? Are you sure you want to duplicate the de degenerate DNA? Are you sure? And to that woman's point, just like y'all wanted her to be a representation for black girls. Now she's out here having babies by niggas who don't respect her and want to ruin her career. Can you fucking imagine? Yes, I can. Because I had two babies with a motherfucker who wanted to ruin me and would have probably killed me. You don't keep your children around these motherfuckers. It will be a blessing for her to be a solo parent and to be away from him. Can you imagine if he's jealous now, he's going to be jealous, jealouser when the baby comes. OK, it's going to be worse when the baby comes. It's funny how insecure men would rather would sabotage their significant other. I hope her career doesn't take too big of a hit. I know if I worked at Disney, I would tell him, cut off everything, bitch. I know Disney is an evil corporation and has done a number on the girls. A number, girl. I know it's done a number on y'all. It has. That princess syndrome, wanting to have your day, thinking about your wedding at seven years old when you don't even know the pathology of a man. You have no clue. You just want to have your day. It's my day. It's my day. You just want, bitch, if you don't marry yourself and have you a, a fabulous party with all of your friends and family, you want to marry yourself, that's safer and will likely not end in divorce after eight years. Stupid and pregnant. That's what I said. Why is she stupid? Because she's pregnant. What the fuck are you talking about? It's who she's pregnant by. I hope she has a healthy pregnancy. I hope she doesn't have any complications. I, because a woman pregnant, her life is at risk in birth. Her life. Her life. She could die. Somebody said, what, what am I missing? Why are you calling her stupid and pregnant? I said she's pregnant by a man that said he's so jealous of her. He thinks about doing something to ruin her career. Can you imagine trying to build a foundation with somebody who wants to poke holes in the foundation? Huh? Who's laying termites in the foundation? I'm telling you, it's not Haley Bailey being pregnant. It's what it represents. A cultural pathology. Of the black women having babies, duplicating DNA of men who hate them. It's 2023. You didn't see how many women play this game. And you're going to take the same fucking path?
Right. And when his son gets a girl pregnant at 15 and 16 years old, now all of a sudden it's her fault. And then Umar gets his musty, dusty, dookie smelling ass on the Internet to disrespect Jada Pinkett Smith because she evidently doesn't have the body in order for a man to hit on her after she after she after there's rumors about them getting a divorce. Chris Rock with his corny ass. He's around here walking around with fucking corn rolls in his head at 50 fucking five years old. How old is Chris Rock? Fifty-eight. Running around here with corn rolls, trying to look young, trying to catch these young girls. Young white girls, too. And he's up there disrespecting Jada Pinkett Smith. Listen to this disgusting, shit-smelling asshole. What did you do in response to Chris Rock asking to clap your cheeks? Why did Chris Rock feel so comfortable to ask you if he could clap your cheeks? See, when a woman comes to you, black fellas, I hope my brothers is... Because one thing a corny-ass nigga has is audacity. That's one thing, one thing y'all niggas are good at is audacity. Yes, he had the audacity that after hearing rumors that Jada and Will were getting a divorce to ask Jada out on a date and she rejected him. And I'm sure that's not the first time. I'm sure Jada is sparing him. I'm sure she is. But then you got this nigga down here who claims to have this utmost respect for black women, yet always giving them messages that don't serve them. Listen to this waste of flesh. Turning around, telling the world that Chris Rock wanted to clap your flat ass cheeks. First of all, Jada, no disrespect because you're a beautiful woman in the face. But But you ain't got nobody. You ain't. But I'm about to disrespect you. No disrespect, but I'm about to disrespect you. You don't have the body. That's what he's telling her. You don't have the body for a man to hit on you. Nigga, you don't have to fucking have the fucking legs for a nigga to hit on you. Okay? Five, five, thick in the thighs by no stretch of any man's imagination. Now, if Chris Rock told you he wanted to clap your cheeks as a get back at, and Chris Rock you was out of line for doing that but I can understand Will Smith embarrassed you so you want to get him back by clapping his wife's cheeks I understand but J- and then he has the timeline wrong you don't even have the timeline you're just on the internet letting shit fly out of your mouth another mother another degenerate motherfucker in the guise of oh pro black shit no you pro black man that pro black shit has left off pro black man Pro-black, straight man. Let me not forget that part. And I use straight loosely. Umar goes off on Jada Pinkett for claiming Chris Rock hit on her. Flat-ass cheeks, you ain't got no body. You ain't 5'5 and thick in the thighs. Let's read some of the comments. Shout out to Faith, Love, Life, and Style. The toxicity is sickening. Someone else said, so you think she can bag... Will Smith, Tupac, and August Alsina, and can't bag Chris Rock. Don't be foolish. Where's your school? He started off with disrespect, musty motherfucker. That was my comment. I'm always going to, every chance I get, I'm going to disrespect these niggas. Every chance I get. We're not going to sit here and act like this woman didn't have these men groveling at her feet back in the day. If anything, we're going to be for real right now. The unprovoked disrespect is astounding. Her being Jada is more than enough to pull anyone, beloved. Watch that mouth and that uh, that outdated high top. I know that's right. That was um, Tanisha. Shout out to Tanisha from Bad Girls Club. She done changed her whole little look. Look at Tanisha. Y'all ain't gonna get no... turning around telling the world that Chris Rock wanted to clap your flat ass cheeks. First of all, Jada, no disrespect because you're a beautiful woman in the face. But you ain't got nobody. You ain't five five thick in the thighs by no stretch of any man's imagination. Body shaming. Now, if Chris Rock told you he wanted to clap your cheeks 
as a get back at, and Chris Rock, he was out of line for doing that. But I could understand Will Smith embarrassed you, so you want to get him back. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I just thought about it. You know they don't hire the motherfucking males in a, in morgues. You know they don't they don't like to hire men in the morgues, right? You know why? Or funeral homes. You know why? You know why? They don't have five. They ain't five five and thick in the thighs. They're dead, and these niggas are still fucking dead bodies. Disgusting. So she don't have to be five five and thick in the thighs. She can be dead, no pulse, and these niggas will stick their dicks in her. Pieces of shit. But Jada. What did you do in response to Chris Rock asking to clap your cheeks? Why did Chris Rock feel so comfortable to ask you if he could clap your cheeks? See, when a woman comes to you, black fellas, I hope my brothers is listening to me. I help my brother. I hope all my African alpha males. I want all my unapologetically African alpha males to listen to your big brother, Dr. Umar, right now. I want all of my anti-snow bunny, unapologetically African alpha males. I want you to check into your big brother, Notorious RBG, one time. If your woman ever come home saying that a man solicited sex from her in a very private manner, not vulgar, not boisterous, not out loud, not disrespectful. If a man pulled your woman to the side and solicited sex from your woman, you got to be a little suspicious. Of who? If a man pulls your woman to the side and solicits sex from your queen, you got to be... You know how many niggas? Let me tell you something. I didn't, I didn't fool with a dude. And you know how many... After we done, you know how many of his friends in, in separate occasions will come around and try to get with you? These niggas don't give a fuck. And they show you every day they don't give a fuck. And all they care about is fucking. Listen to them. A little suspicious. If a man pulled you to the pulled your wife to the side and solicited sexual relations with your woman, you gotta be a little suspicious. Did what did she do to make him so comfortable? She, she's breathing. She don't even have to be breathing, nigga. Y'all stick your dick in a dead body. You disgusting, degenerate, reprobate pieces of shit. And you think that you think that humanity stemmed from you? You think humanity came from you? You think you built this shit? You didn't build shit. You destroy. Look at the state of the world. You destroy. All you want to do is dominate and conquer. And in every in every corner of the globe, there's groups of men trafficking girls and, and little boys, mostly girls, to be sent across the, the sea to be it's for men to have sex with her. She doesn't even have to be of age. She's a child. She doesn't even she can a child. I hear so many stories of these women leaving their children with these men. And all of a sudden, the man is calling 911 and he doesn't know what happened to the little girl. And the little girl is dead. And then they do an autopsy and find out she's been raped and she can't even fucking walk. Feeling like he can make it.